Hey, all this is so welcome back to Slay the Spire. Um, I'm learning a lot. We're getting some unluck, but we're, I do like this guy. I think we can still work pretty well with him. And keep trying to go. We have a couple unlocks to get anyway. Another try. Always. This game is so much fun. Why would I not? This is never a good idea. Not, not, it's not true. Lose all, go to a random rare relic. Random boss relic. This could really go badly. But our early cards are not awesome. We want to upgrade in particular. I mean, bash maybe. Maybe upgrade. Ten and three. Same cost. Uh, let's try this one. What the hell? Let's go crazy. Risk reward. What do we get? Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain. Ooh, I like that one. I dig it. All right. Okay, we got to get through one fight and an elite campfire fight chest campfire elite fight campfire ooh that's a really good route we're gonna take that route please it's a mystery on now oh, this guy and you up to buddy boop boop hey we will we will eventually succeed at this I have every faith. I mean, we got pretty damn far the first time. We've just been getting less lucky lately. And later, get some more energy. So this is now we'll get more energy to run this big turn here. That's gonna be a pretty good item early. Did I not get any energy yet? Oh, that was the first time I shuffled my deck. Shuffle my deck. I'll take advantage of this later. I want to mitigate the damage I'm taking. Until we can kill him outright, I don't want to take too much. If I can get a full heal off of this, and not have any problems before I hit the elite, that'd be pretty good. Um, Alright, keep doing this. One downside with this path, I guess, is that we won't have as many cards to play with. Which is an interesting choice. Hitting an elite without any advanced abilities might be problematic in and of itself. That's probably true. So we're already below par on heals. Do minus four. I think now he dies. And that's really gonna probably only pay off on I oh, know it continues, I think. Never mind. I say it's only pay off on big big fights, but cause zero this turn. Exhaust. Okay, what the hell? None of these are particularly good, but the random might be good, so we'll see. What we got? Cranium metals. Yep. Ow. Oh, really? Are you serious? So unlucky. What do we get? Okay. Maybe that was worth it. Jeez. That was really unlucky. Oh, well. That happens. Um, we don't get a heal before this elite, though. If you take too much damage, I might be in trouble. Do I want to not risk it then and loop back this way? I might get only one elite for now. Get the heal. Get a campfire. Another campfire. Yeah, I'll probably do it that way. Alright, we'll not take the risk. We got really unlucky with that. So we'll deviate off path a bit. That's okay. We'll deviate off path. So the early leads aren't too bad. It's still a bit dangerous for me. No real choice here. Just gotta take pain. I've had a lot of health. I don't feel good taking on elites. The game has been rolling me some really bad luck lately. I don't feel like. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Nice. I'll take it. Juggy. Ooh. This seems like the start of a block deck. That seems like a start of a block deck. Um, let's go up this way and see if we can pull that off. I'm going to try to avoid the elites. Could we do it with 46 HP? Not without help, I don't think. I think we could totally use a heal because some of these fights are really tight. Let's be this. Let's be smarter. I really don't want to die on the first tower. That would be embarrassing as the hills. I'll go ahead and defend... No, it's good to do damage first. These things curl up, right? Some damage to a louse. 
Damage to a louse. Do it for a lark. Or for a louse, either way. And we can go ahead and... Let me do one damage to this guy still. Yay. Not like it's going to help us particularly, but okay. Ew. Okay, yeah. It's just... It would be smarter not to take the elite fight, which is what we did. Hey, we have Juggy, but we can end the fight now, so there's no point to do this. Thank you. Very good. What we got? Battle Trance Bloodletting. Ooh, both are good, but Battle Trance is better, in my opinion. Uh, here. Can we do this at 46 HP? Don't know. If we get a heal here, maybe. Oh, it's a fight. Never mind. Get Juggy. Holla holla get Dala. There's this guy. Yeah, I don't think we can take that fight. Not safely. Really want to hit that elite early, but I don't think that's smart. Lately, I've been having some awful, awful luck. Some bad advice from Rottingham. All right, go ahead. No, you're not doing any of this. I mean, we can. Can we draw something better? We have in our deck anyway. Infernal blade. Yeah, we can. Probably can't be too bad. Siphon sever soul. Exhaust all non-tech cards in your hand. Deal 16 damage. Here's a better thought. Better. I want to save some of the ones in my hand that aren't, uh, can't attack this turn. Marvelous. Okay, we can do double defend. Oh, do the stays? Oh, damn, son. I see that stays. Nice. We'll just inhale that, I guess. Yeah, with Juggernaut, I think we can totally start building a block deck out of this. For if we just keep getting block from everything, that'd be pretty nice. He's gonna try to kill me. He's gonna fail. Oh! Oh, no! Fire breathing's cool. Grab this. Powers are neat. God, I really want to go do this fight, but I'm going to be super conservative about this. Last time we were conservative when he died, so I'm like super paranoid. Hey, cool. I'll take Juggy. This is a great item, by the way. I've decided. Infernal Blade. This strike is free. Okay. I will defend. Do some damage. And we'll go and do damage to the other. No, that thing splits. Does it split? This doesn't split. You kill that thing, it's going to start reducing the amount of um, damage I can do. Now, this is smart. I'm afraid that if I don't do this, I'm going to be in trouble. Ow. Yeah, the thing needs to die. It's going to keep giving me wounds, too. Not so good. You're going to heal and buff. Not great. She. Um. Maltrance. We draw into. Draw to fire breathing. Pretty dope. Yep. We'll probably go ahead and do eight. I'll do one damage to all enemies. Can't do much else. Yeah. If we had an elite fight after this, I don't even want to barely survive this one. Not a good move. Not a good look. Ten damage. Wow, we're in trouble. We draw into we're into a lot of stuff. As my dogs go bananas. Hold on, pardon me. Yeesh. Sorry about that. Apparently, it's the sound of my dogs disagreeing. Good lord. Alright, we can do three damage to everything by not abusing the bash and by just doing strikes. Or could we just bash him to death? 12. Can't quite do it. When does this happen? End of my turn. So before their turn. So if we do 10. Does one damage to him? Or 12? Uh, it's not quite enough, is it? we be better off to do three strikes, maybe? We have Juggy up? We have Juggy up, too. Hmm. 
Let's try to defend a bit. Okay. Didn't do much there, but we'll be okay. That was kind of crazy. My dogs got really, really unhappy at each other. It's not good. Alright. Now. We have fire breathing too. We're going to buff and do damage. We're going to keep do as much of this as possible. Cool. Fire breathing is going to be interesting. Kind of tanky the style we're playing right now. 13 damage, Jesus. You can bash. It's not quite enough. Oh, it might be able to do actually at the end of my turn. Fire breathing might kill him. Oh, yes. Good. Alright, 17 gold. Add a card to my deck. Shockwave. We can vulnerable all enemies exhaust. Um, good way to start a fight. But that's really, really good. I'm going to grab a for cut. Need to heal. Like a mother. And we're going to go this way. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Going to rest. West and we wax. I should not west. Alright, this way. Yeah, this is getting a little fuzzy. These fights, man. These fights, not so fun though. -y. Fernal Blade's a good choice. Fiend Fire. Exhaust your hand. Deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. Exhaust. Huh. Okay, well I do want to do this. Let's draw up our hand and do as much of the pain as possible. Lose some basic abilities. Hmm. Get rid of some of our basic strikes. Might be a good plan, actually. Aha. Uh ich -huh. habe ein Plan. Or, how much do we need? We need four cards to kill this guy. To exhaust. Does it count? This one. Let's see if it does. I don't think that counts. Let's see. Do 35 or 8? 4. Yep, yeah, okay. It's not cards, not counting that one. I get vulnerable. Oh, is that the effect of that? <laughs> Didn't read that carefully. That's okay. He's gonna grow. 13A. 13 damage one week. That gets me to eight. That means I can probably kill with a strike. Yep. Nice. Shins is nice. All right, good elixir. Eh. Front of blade anger. Another random. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Just get cool randoms and stuff. Anger is always nice for extra action economy. But I'm be kind of digging this. Now let's go ahead and go here. Yes, do that. Get some loot. Old coin. Gain 300 gold. Well, that'll help me at the vendor. So the question is, do we try to upgrade here? Or do we heal? Let's heal up. Let's play this conservatively. Uh, we'll be at max for the elite. Be smart. I don't want to go crazy on this one. Well, I've had enough bad luck recently. This dude. Okay, damage race time. I was going to try to do this for later. I was maybe strength. Nah, I'm going to go ahead and actually apply poison. It's going to need to die sooner rather than later. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and... We definitely need to play our skills now. Anger. Oh, great. Do this. Do this. Do a little bit of that. It's scary because Juggy would help me out here, but playing Juggy would get me owned here. Rorg. See, if we got this guy early, we would die if we had half health, so I'm glad I avoided that first one. <laughs> oh, do I really want to do that? Yeah, we're going to probably play this as conservatively as possible and not give him too much boost, except for Juggy. If I play skill? Skills. Fire breathing helps. I think Juggy's a power, though, right? These are powers. They're not skills. Is Juggy actually going to help me here? Juggy's not going to help me because we're not going to be doing that. Fire breathing might. No. Yes. 
Now, if we're lucky, we can kill him. Ooh, nice damage. That poison is really powerful, actually. It was weaker than that. Let's see. A bash and a strike will do this. I may, might have survived that if we were lucky, actually, but... Not, ooh, yes, or how come? I love this. I love this, because I have Juggy. This could be a totally solid block-style game. Uh, blood for Blood. Okay. Cool. I like it. Interesting. <sighs> this thing. Oh, I'm going to play Juggy. Play Infernal Blade. What do we get? Thunderclap. Okay. Live with that. I've had worse. It's three damage every time. So every time we have Aura Halcom, it's three damage every turn, basically. Fire breathing. Uppercut. Yep. Good. It's trying to like the combo of abilities. We do want to start upgrading some of these. If we can take very little damage this turn, I mean this match, rather. Infernal Blade would be nice. Um, let's see if we get something cool out of this. Reckless Charge. I don't want to gain one vulnerable right now. That would be to bads. I don't like that. It's already free anyway. Let's draw something better. Okay, I can live with Bash, I guess. Get Aura Halcom to reduce some damage. The sooner we kill this SOB. Oh, he's just below his threshold. If he splits, does that let me do... If he splits, I don't think he has the ability. In that case, regular charge would be good. Because he's... We want vulnerable, I can take that damage. Yeah. That was good, actually. That actually worked out. That actually really worked out. Cool. And each of these is 9 HP. So it's going to be relatively... Should be cake to handle this. Now, we're going to play things at me. One full nibble to all enemies. I don't think I can kill everything here. Stop that. Kill one. Uh, one vulnerable doesn't help me, so do that. Dead. Oh, dude. Took no damage that fight. Offering or headbutt. Oh, God. All this is good. I want disarm. I'm definitely leaning more toward offering the more I see this. Uh, headbutt, though, and that's such a critical card to get what I need. I'm actually probably going to upgrade here. Why wouldn't I? Uh, we're going to smith. And we're going to go... Five damage would be great. That's so funny when that jumps up, it causes my recording to get all wonky. This is not the game, by the way. This is just me. Free fire breathing. That would be good. I think powers are smart upgrades. And free infernal blades. All these are good ideas. Headbutt's also a great idea. Yep, okay. I can definitely see a lot of upgrade potential with this. I think Juggy is going to be critical as part of our... Part of our methodology more or less get juggy up there okay let's see if we can get some cool some good relic with 433 golds so for the first time we have to be good timing on the merchant pennib oh it's good yeah giddy up you can now gain strength at campfire see max ooh how much strength just one not too interesting blind two week reaper limit break uh, I think the pen nib's great. If we can plan this one out. So I'm going to grab the pen nib. Thank you. And then we have 276 left. Enlightenment. Be pretty sick. Are we going to grab that? Reaper would be nice, but I think enlightenment is just beyond critical. Because I have some expensive actions. 78. Can you get anything else useful? Hmm. Is there anything here that's really good? Don't have a lot of strength building stuff on like demon form, so that would have been useful before. Any more cash? Shockwave. Skills cost zero and every place skill exhaust it. I don't like that. Unless you specifically build for that, and I can't think that far ahead right now, so we're gonna, gonna live with this. Thunderclap. Ah, wow, interesting. Do we have enough vulnerable applications? We have two vulnerable applications. I'm gonna save the money, I think. I think that's enough. We're gonna leave. It's cool. It's cool, man. 
kind of want to upgrade something else here. I think we could probably take the last fight at 63. There's lower Halcom in it. I think we can. I'm going to go up to Smith here. Um, so fire breathing, free fire breathing would be good. The free infernal blades sound really good too. Headbutt sound really good as well. I'm going to grab free fire breathing though, I think. Yep. Always worth it. For a free thing that gives me a free buff. I dig. Oh shit, it's this guy. If he starts doing some nasty stuff, that's when I'm going to use the uh, weak potion. It's already paying off. Do strength. Nothing discarded yet. So I can headbutt after uppercut. Boom. Go ahead and grab uppercut again. Because why not? Already got handled, I guess. Yep. Still do a strike. Okay, end the turn. Not bad. Good start. Don't have Juggy yet, but we will soon. I'm hopeful. Yep. So we're going to go ahead do a little bit of that. Because we don't want to take that much freaking damage. We need to do some interesting stuff here. Battle transfer sec. Options. Juggernaut. Yes, we need to get this up. Yep. I'll grab Infernal Blade. So we get some cool. Got pummel. Well, I'll live with it, I guess. That definitely helps fire breathing. Is that four separate attacks? Or that one attack. I think it might be just one attack. Yep. Do five damage with the thingy. So we take 18 on this. Hurts a bit. Not gonna lie, hurts a bit. Enlightenment. We can play. Bash strike. Defend. Sure. We're taking no damage here if we're lucky. No, we get free Aura Halcom. Why would we ever play block? It'd be better just to Aura Halcom this off. We'll defend everything. Okay, so far so good. We can start culling this off from burns if we get them, so that's alright. Still a bit vulnerable. It's good. Okay, we can Aura Halcom this off, which is great. Can keep trying to apply this weak. This guy seems to be hitting a lot less hard than he was before. I mean, I mean, we're also getting a lot of block, but still. That upgraded Juggernaut's really handy. Like, really handy. Uh, we can run everything already without running Enlightenment. Unless we draw Battle Trance, in which case we can get even more. Because this cause... Is this considered a draw? I don't know. Let's see. Some more vulnerability out of this. So first of all, you're already vulnerable. Let's get beat you up a bit. Is this counted as a draw? Let's find out. It does not count as a draw. 40 damage. 60 damage. Why is this 40? Pen nib. Sun. Sun. About that, though. About that, though. I think we can own this guy this turn, actually. Is it dead? Well, that went well. Damn, maybe I should go for less elites and more on the upgrade track. That makes sense, actually. The upgrades on these cards are really important if you get some good... Oh my god, I have Juggernaut already? I'm kind of speechless, sorry. Um, have Juggernaut already. Or can you double up Juggernaut? Does Juggernaut stack? Juggy might stack. But barricade block no longer expires. Jeez. Oh man, what an interesting choice because we don't have a lot of things that actually gain us block besides Aura Halcom. And now we're not going to be stacking it as much. Um, doubling up on Juggernaut would be sick. Double tap would be great though. Especially if we comboed with Pen Nib, if we time these two out. Damn, son. Do you have any crazy attacks? And Blood for Blood is a good attack. Stuff from Infernal Blades is coming out really well. Ooh, I don't know. I like Double Tap a lot, but doubling up on Juggy is crazy. We can just be doing like 10 damage a turn with Or Halcom. We can double up on Juggy, actually. It's probably smarter. 
I'll see if it stacks. I don't know if it stacks. No. Runic cube. Uh, no thanks. Minus 16? Seems like a terrible thing. Wow. Really? Choose and add five cards to my deck. Is that, like, all? Oh, these are randoms. Okay. Do we have anything that makes us lose HP? We need to start building that. <laughs> uh... We need to get like hemokinesis up. I'm gonna grab this because it's gonna be use vulnerable gain energy and draw a card. Holy crap, these are cool. I'm still seeing new stuff here. I'm gonna invest in powers for now, but dropkick sounds great. Gaining energy, then this is free if it's vulnerable. Sounds really good. Hopefully I'll see that again. I'm gonna emphasize on powers though. Sugar it, Iron Wave, gain block that helps with Juggernaut. So I'm going to actually grab Iron Wave. Drop Kick. Oh, drug it off, but I'm going to grab Drop Kick. That sounds so good. Um, oh, God, one more view, but Hemo's good for that. Rupture. Don't want to stack it necessarily. Dual Wield. Double Powers. Get even more Juggy up. That would be sick. Dual Wield would be very, very useful. Okay, cool. Let's proceed, shall we? Feeling pretty good. 17 minutes on this one, really? Is that what we ran? Oh no, because my dog's went bananas. Right, it's not 17 minutes at all. I'm actually going to take the first fight here, because every time I end it here, it makes me re-choose, and I got some good cards, I don't want to really stop. Let's get to a fight. Can we get a heal before an early elite? The answer is... No... The only other early elite... I can get triple elites if I go that way. That's freaking suicidal. And the only way I can do this is going through three fights, then an elite, then a campfire, and then another elite. Damn, that sounds dangerous. I'm going to play this conservatively then. That's gotten us pretty far so far. Or further, consistently. Yeah, I, mean, I played really aggressive my first playthrough and didn't get punished for it. Interesting. Um, I do want to hit a vendor at some point. So if I make sense to path this way... Or do I want to hit... I want to hit more campfires, actually, so we can upgrade more cards. Go like this. Like that, and hit a campfire. I'll need the campfire before the elite, though. I don't want to avoid all the elites. Oh, there's not a very good path at all. Not a lot of good paths here, actually. A lot of fights between us and elites. Double elite. Ooh, that's just dangerous. Okay, well, let's assume we're going to fight this elite, right? Because we want to fight at least one. So we're going to go here, and I want to make sure I have this option in case things are going really badly. The only way to hit a vendor be down here. The question is going to be, do I want to hit vendor, or do I want to hit campfire? And the only way to keep those options open is to go this way, so we're going to kind of loop like that. Okay, man. Oh, these guys. I don't have a lot of, a lot, don't have a lot of AoE here. Hamana, 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 Hamana. Oh, Enlightenment, yes, please. You get all these up if possible. Yep. Yep. E Not a lot of damage here. I just can't quite do enough damage to that guy. Hopefully, we'll soon. Oh, that doesn't count as stacks. Interesting. Caw, caw. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. Be smart about this. Blood for blood. Dual wield, drop kick, battle trance. Draw some more, please. Some better options. Uppercut. Then drop kick will be free. So give us zero. Vulnerable, I'll take that. We can probably blood for blood. This can we kill him with blood for blood? I think we can. That's one less to worry about, I guess. Good. Oh, we still have one more move. We can strike or we can defend. Warhawkum gives us more again. So let's dual wield. Oh, I don't need dual wield. Probably should dual wield something better before. If I thought right. Well, let's do some damage, I guess. Get that guy down first because he's going to be problematic. Ooh, lucky me. No, I still, I still have another juggernaut here, don't I? I do. 
Cool. Let's see. Free fire breathing. Dig. Infernal blade. Oh, let's see what we get out of Infernal blade. Clash. Is everything attack? Nope. Will be soon. Ha ha ha. Owned, baby. Kill that guy. And let's grab... Let's grab enlightenment, actually. Mm-hmm. Good run so far. God. I like this build. I dig this build a lot, actually. It's kind of working out. Enlightenment. Okay, so we didn't get what I wanted out of this. Which was, um... Well, let me say it wasn't Hemo. It was going to be free jug. I mean, cheaper juggy. Haven't even drawn into the last juggy yet, have we? Eh, shame. Okay. Uh, Iron Wave helps us gain block. I suppose an interesting way to play it. I mean, Iron Wave wasn't so good. Makes sense. Gain some strength from that. Only gain five block, though. We can actually knock him down if we do this. Okay, I'll take it. Got him. Okay. Cleave one. Yeah, that'll be used for AoEs. Even though Headbutt's really powerful. Okay, we're going to call it there for now. I'll see you all next time on Slay the Spire. I've been hurt still then. Feeling interesting about this build. I'm kind of feeling, feeling pretty good. Till next time. Till then.